Hey, hey, it's Dana, the Gypsy Psychic. Are you ready for another message? Come on in and get comfortable. Put your feet up, get your blanket, a pillow, something to eat, something to drink, something to smoke. Throw it up on the big screen if you want to. Put in the earbuds, kick back, and relax because we're going to unpack some psychic messages. All right, let's cut these cards three times. See what they say. Let's go. One, two, three. One, two, three and three bottom of the deck strength all right first card out Woo -wee. the king of pentacles for y'all pisces the king of pentacles nice three of wands preparing getting ready seeing the forest through the trees sun in reverse which you're not seeing clearly the fool brand new beginning brand new journey the moon despite what you might want death there is going to be an ending a change and a transformation justice in your best interest the world in the center of the reading to the hierophant and the four of wands holy schmoly pisces what the heck is going on here the ace of pentacles the ace of cups the high priestess pisces herself showing up here the ten of cups and the seven of wands in reverse okay see this is now the story changes okay four of pentacles in reverse eight of wands in reverse the wheel in reverse the five of wands princess of swords three of pentacles in reverse let's see where we gonna stop temperance to the princess of wands and the lovers devil in reverse fantastic the chariot in reverse fantastic all right and look at that the eight of swords and the alchemist freaking fantastic pisces all right let's do this all right pisces here's the story let's work it all out see what's going on with everybody let's see how this is going to happen let's get into this so king of pentacles is the first card out this is about success stability someone who is extremely focused extremely um controlled in their approach to life and the three of wands comes right after this this is talking about uh preparation the future the future preparing for the future getting ready for the future what you don't see clearly pisces what you don't see clearly is the sun in reverse right there but you don't see clearly the fool there's a brand new beginning and a brand new journey waiting on the other side of the current phase of life that you're in pisces uh-huh there's a brand new cycle and a brand new journey just on the other side of all of this the moon what you don't see, Empress in reverse, is that you are possibly not conducting yourself properly, Pisces. Yep, the Empress in reverse, the moon, problem, Empress in reverse, the world in reverse. There is a blockage. There's a blockage because you're not focusing on what it is that you need to be focusing on, Pisces. And because you are not applying critical self-analysis to your life with the world in reverse, um, this whole thing is having a hard time coming through for you. Mm -hmm. Spirit, tell me about the fool. Tell me about the fool. What is this for Pisces? This new beginning, this new journey, this new direction. Okay. It's the tower in reverse and the high priestess in reverse, which go hand in hand with the world in reverse and the empress in reverse. Because the fool is a leveling up of your spirituality. It is going in the direction of this world card, right? It is new beginnings, new journeys, but more importantly, it's some kind of... It's some kind of independence or freedom from a particular situation or circumstance in your life. Okay? Right? Okay? So, King of Pentacles to the Three of Wands. Let's talk about that one more time. Spirit, can you give me one that is the bridge between this King of Pentacles and the Three of Wands? What is coming? The Nine of Cups. Fantastic. So everything you ever wanted, Pisces, is on its way to you. Everything you ever wanted from a fulfillment level in your life is on its way to you. 
in the Page of Wands. It's new. It's new. It's exciting. It's something that you've never experienced. You've never done before. It's brand new. And it holds a great deal of success with the King of Pentacles right there. A great deal of success. Um, so, you know, I can't continue on with the other cards that are in these. You know, the Ace of Cups, the Ten of Cups, and, you know, all that kind of stuff without saying. Possibly this King of Pentacles is someone in your future as well. But nevertheless, even if it's someone in your future, it still represents you because you are going going in to this success. You are going to be successful. My God, I cannot make this shit up, Pisces. Death in reverse. Death in reverse is an inner transformation. Death in reverse comes from inner purging. What is it that you got to purge in order to be able to get the most out of this situation? So you could enter into this situation like, like you are now without working out these issues right here. Okay, You can step into this situation, but it's not going to be what it should be to you. And that's why they're pointing out these two flaws right here that you got to look at in order to be prepared to get the best that you can possibly get out of this, this change that's coming in your life. Okay, the fool, brand new beginning, brand new journey, headed in a new direction. That's what you don't see, okay? You don't see that there's a brand new turn right around the corner for you, Pisces, right around the corner, okay? The moon. The moon is about um, not, not, not being able to get a handle on yourself on the inside. Not being able to get a handle on yourself on the inside. The tower in reverse. This is about a personal transformation from a situation that has happened in your life in your past. Whatever it is, it could be a bazillion things. This is a general reading. If these were your cards, we'd dig into this and we'd find out exactly what's behind all of this, okay? So take it with a grain of salt, but there was something in your past that crumbled underneath you, okay? And the moon says you're still processing those emotions. And the high priestess in reverse says you're unhealed. You're unhealed from whatever this tower was. Okay, and that unhealedness in you is blocking the closure of this cycle of your life and the beginning and the opening of this brand new cycle of your life. Uh huh. So there's some unhealed, tender feelings that are going on inside there, Pisces. And you have to use this as a personal transformation. You have to use it as strength in understanding that if something that you're trying to build crumbles, you probably need to stop building there. You need to take a step back and realize that it's, does, it can't bear the weight of what it is that you want to build in your life. It's our indication that we are kind of off track a little bit, okay? And that's the critical self-analysis of the world. Critical self-analysis will flip this in the upright and send you on your way into all of this amazing everything you ever wanted kind of stuff. But it can't because you're not learning. What aren't you learning? You're not learning the lesson of the tower. Tower is Trump 16. It's the 16th lesson in all of the major arcana. And apparently, for whatever reason, you you can't close this down or step away from this. And the perspective that you got to have is that it couldn't bear the weight of what you want to build in your life in the first place, even if you've worked your whole life to build it. Okay? Off track, on the wrong track, building in the wrong place, right? Unhealed with the high priestess in reverse. To the world in reverse, it's a blockage. And then the empress in reverse. What's the problem? Well, you're not, you're not bossing up, Pisces. You're not bossing up. The empress is bossing up, right? She has the power to create any kind of future that she wants for herself as long as it's in line with her best and highest good. If it's not in line with her best and highest good, she will try as she may in her humanness when she's in the reverse 
when in fact if she would just point her mind lesson one the magician understand that she has the power to create her own reality because where her mind goes her reality becomes and the empress in the upright understands that so she's very careful what she allows herself to dwell on in her life good or bad the high priestess lesson two that's you pisces the high priestess is your higher self, your soul, your ancient soul from back in the day, the ancient soul that's going to be here, the same soul is going to be here to pick you up when you die. That same soul is in your life right now. It's linear. It goes zoom right through your life. Your soul is experiencing your human life. And your soul will speak to you, lead you and guide you in the direction of your best and highest good through your intuition. The Empress understands this. The Empress creates the reality that her soul tells her is in her best and highest good, and she likes it. But in the reverse, you're not doing that. And because of that, there's a blockage to an old cycle closing and a new cycle opening. You're unhealed, and there are issues from implos implosions in your past that you need to come to terms with. And the perspective is, wasn't meant for me anyway. It, it, all right, stop. It's outlived, okay? It's outlived. It may have been meant for some purpose, for something in your life, maybe to spawn your children. Um, maybe to get you where you need to be in your career, maybe for you to learn what it is that you needed to learn about life. But now it doesn't serve you anymore. And it's time, death, to close it down, bring it to an end. Close it down, bring it to an end because your life needs to transform, is about to transform. Why? Well, the world in the center of your reading, right? It was in reverse up here, right? Why is there change? Because Major Arcana says that you have learned what it is that you need to learn in this particular phase of your life. It is time to elevate, level up, elevate, graduate, hear and listen with the Hierophant what it is that the universe is trying to convey to you. It's in your best interest with the Justice card. It's a massive transformation. But first, the old, the tower, the old has to come to an end so you can begin the new. However, part of this traumatic experience in your life was part of the tools for the toolkit that you needed to compile through this phase of your life to go into the new phase of your life. What's the new phase of your life? Success, wishes fulfilled, comfort, happiness, satisfaction, brand new, spanking brand new, exciting, fiery, new personal transformation is in order. All right. Tell me where death's taken, Pisces. Tell me about death. Um, death. Tell me about death, please. Please tell me about death. Please tell me about death. Whoa. Uh, six cups in reverse. Six cups in reverse is about stuck in the past, Pisces. What's the past? That tower. It's supposed to be a personal transformation, not the end. It's supposed to be the, the, the end of something for the beginning of something else. And justice, it's in your best interest. It's always in your best interest. Spirit, is there anything that needs to be said about justice? Two of wands in reverse. Okay, right? That goes back to the past, right? Stuck in the past. Two of wands in reverse <clears throat> is about a fear of the unknown. Um and that's why people go back to the past, right? Because the past is comfortable. They know the past, right? And justice is the King of Pentacles, that same King of Pentacles, whether it's someone coming into your life that is going to help you achieve and succeed in some endeavor, or it is someone that's going to come into your life as some kind of a stable love interest, or someone that's going to come into your life as some kind of um, a job offer, perhaps. And underneath all of it, this is you being successful, being careful, being grounded. 
Mm -hmm. And what you don't see clearly with the sun in reverse is the world that that this cycle needs to close for this to happen. Mm -hmm. Yep, yep, yep. Look what's on the other side of that Ten of Cups. The Ten of Cups. My gosh, it's down here too. Wow, this is amazing. So what does Pisces have to do? Seven of Pentacles. You have to reflect and assess. You have to take a step back and look at the way that you're doing things. Look at the way that you're going about things. Tell me uh, what else here. What does, ooh, what does Pisces have to do? The Nine of Pentacles in reverse and the Ten of Pentacles. What Pisces has to do is stop wasting time um, worrying about silly stuff. Stop wasting time worrying about silly stuff. What's the silly stuff? Silly stuff is the tower, the stuff that you need to let go so we can have some space and some room to let some really good shit manifest in your life. The silly stuff is stuff that does not matter in your soul journey, Pisces. Your soul journey, not your human experience, your soul journey, right? All of these unhealed, wounded human beings walking around, mingling with each other, and just the, it's the blind leading the blind. It's the blind leading the blind. The universe wants to show you a beautiful version of your life that you are fully and completely capable of manifesting fully and completely capable of manifesting. It's right there. It's right there. The Akashic Records, Pisces. It's right there. All you have to do is put your mind in the place where it can believe and receive that there is success and an ultimate amount of happiness headed directly for you like a freight train. How you experience it will depend upon your mindset. And right now, these cards are saying your mindset needs a little bit of attention. Okay? Four of Wands. Four of Wands, this is, this is safety. Safety and peace. Harmony in your life. Some readers call it the 1111 card, but I'm just not out about all that. I'm just not about all that. Um, yeah, look to the Six of Swords. This is like a, a reading on a reading. It's crazy. Six of Swords, right? Leave behind the mental bullshit. Boom, the chariot. And freaking roll, Pisces. Roll. Put in the self-control, the willpower, and the determination to do what needs to get done and do it. What needs to get done? You've got to shed that old skin like a snake, like a locust. Shed that old skin. Cicadas. I hate those things. And jump into a brand new future. Take all of the tools that you have acquired over the years shut down the cycle and step into a fantastic future. My God, what I just say, seven of swords in reverse, break free of a futile mindset, Pisces, the 10 of pentacles foundation, everything that you've ever wanted, money, love, all of it's right there. All of it. Look, four of cups, but you're sitting there wallering in something that needs that, that you don't need to. The fourth cup is being offered to you and it's saying, you don't got this, Pisces. See, see what it is that we're trying to tell you here. Look, the moon, and come to terms with this big, huge, gigantic struggle of some kind of something that went south on you in the past. Ace of Pentacles, brand new opportunity to grow brand new seeds to, to, to have an amazing future. Ace of Cups, brand new opportunities in your sense of well-being, brand new opportunities in your emotional connections and growth. The High Priestess, you, Pisces, being absolutely in your element and being led by your soul's journey, your soul's path, not your silly human path that tried to build something out of your own ignorance that did not make, okay? Then that's what we all are. We're all a bunch of ignorant people because we live in this 
basic, primal, human understanding of the way that things should go. And there's something that is so much bigger and better than you are. There is. I don't know what it is. I don't put a label on it. I do not know what it is. It does not have a name. All I know is that it is. Mm -hmm. And it is telling you that there is an amazing opportunity in front of you, but you are going to keep yourself from capitalizing on it in the best way that you can if you don't address the issues that we've talked about here. High Priestess, that's all Pisces. On the inside, Ten of Cups. The be-all to end-all in happiness. I mean, it doesn't get any better than this, Pisces. It really doesn't. And it's all right there for you to bring in. What's the problem? Well, here we go. Problem is seven of wands in reverse and the four of pentacles in reverse. Pisces doesn't, Pisces doesn't feel like they deserve it because they are still smothered with the seven of wands in reverse by their unhealed emotions from what happened in the past. All the way back to your childhood, maybe. Okay, you're still smothered by that. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Eight of wands in reverse. Again, more smothering, right? It's like swimming through jello. Just swimming through jello, smothered in these emotions. The wheel in reverse, and you're, you're blocking us, Pisces. You're blocking us. We want to bring all of this into your life. It's, it's there for the asking. But we cannot and will not intervene in your free will. And if your free will chooses to remain where you are, then you're going to be on your own trying to make your way through all of this because they just can't go against your own free will. They just can't. Won't do it. Won't ever force you to understand your soul path. They just won't. It's part of this game of life that we're in. And the rest of these cards, because there's a lot left, right? And for the sake of time, we're going to skip the minor arcana because the tarot's broken up into two houses, right? There's the major arcana, which are the spiritual life lessons of things. And then there's the minor arcana, which are all the details in between, okay? We don't need all the details. We get the gist of things. So we're going to skip straight to the life lessons of this reading, okay? So, blockage with the wheel in reverse, okay? Conflict, ceilings of thoughts, being upset, lack of teamwork, lack of collaboration, bring a mindset to an end, nine of wands in reverse, uh, unviable relationship of some sort, uh, deceived or, or illusioned, and then temperance. Spirit says, temper yourself from all of this. Temper yourself. Take a breath and temper yourself princess of wands and step into your future step in to your future to the lovers so you can be on the same frequency and the same vibration that all of this is on that's the key pisces to manifestation is the vibration point your mind towards the the positive beautiful things that you want your life to be instead of dwelling on the things that you don't want your life to be we all seem to do that i don't want to be broke so i work right i don't want to uh i don't want to get hurt so i don't get in relationships I don't want to be hungry, so I go grocery shopping, right? You got to switch that all around. You got to switch that all around to, I go grocery shopping to nourish my body, right? I go to work because it is something that I am inspired by. And if you're not inspired by what you spend half of your life doing, you might want to reevaluate what you're doing and the vibes that you're vibing on. The lover's card is about frequency. What frequency are you attracting? Because like attracts like. Birds of a feather flock together because of the frequency. Okay? So spruce it up a little bit with that princess of wands and begin to train yourself to think differently. The devil in reverse and release your limiting beliefs. Detach from the toxicity the acid bath of your humanness 
and tap into a soul, a soulful experience of this human journey. Chariot in reverse, because until you do, um, things are just kind of blocked. They, things will just kind of be the way that they've always been. To the Eight of Swords, the way that they've always been, all tied up in your head, confused, not able to make sense out of things. There's sense. There is, there is method to the madness. There is. Grow, learn, and when the road splits, say thank you for the journey. Namaste. Take what you've learned and grow bigger, better, and stronger. The Magician, you can do it. You can do it. You can do it, Pisces. The magician is lesson number one of everything. Where your mind goes, your reality becomes, period. So be very careful what you think about and think with intention and purpose. Don't let thoughts just randomly consume you. Control your mind and you will be able to understand that it points you to your intuition. Mm -hmm. Use your intuition, Pisces. You are the high priestess. Use your intuition to lead you and guide you and understand that you are a soul having a flesh experience, not a human having a soul experience. I hope that helps someone. Namaste.